It's a gorgeous day in Eugene, the heart of the Willamette Valley, as the Oregon Ducks get set to kick off their annual spring game. It's year two for head coach Dan Lanning, and with the return of Bo Nix, the Ducks are once again in title contention. This school has changed my life. They always have great players, great coaches, and a great conference. Bo Nix has got Franklin in the end zone, and he connects. It's Oregon. Their brand speaks for themselves. Let's check out some of these offensive players from the transfer portal. You've got Tez Johnson from Troy, and they have said he's been electric so far. And there's the breakaway speed. Tez Johnson getting to the corner. Tez Johnson going to sidestep and hurdle a man and a touchdown. Electrifying. First time you met Tez was when in your life? I'll never forget. It was my first week at Pinson. You know, I was only in Pinson for roughly two years. Right in the middle of high school, we moved from North Alabama to Pinson, Alabama, which is just like literally 10 minutes outside of Birmingham. My first week at Pinson, I didn't really know Tez until the day I went out there and threw for the first time. You know, we were gonna get the guys around, we were gonna throw, and the first person that comes running out on the field is this little bitty, like scrawny kid, one of the skinniest kids I've ever seen in my entire life. I just wanted to impress him. Like, I was this small bobblehead kid, probably no telling what my weight was at the time. I, was, I had a big head, small body, but fast and good hands. So every route he threw to me, I caught every pass. I just wanted to impress him and Patrick Nix. He has great ball skills. He runs great routes. And I asked him, and this dude played quarterback the year before. Like he was on JV, ninth grade quarterback. Like he didn't even play receiver. You realize, like, you know what, this kid's like a great kid. He's got a great heart. He has never had an opportunity to show it. He just hadn't necessarily had a, a great situation. It was, it was a struggle just coming up. Like, we didn't have beds at one point. Didn't know where the next meal was coming from. Growing up in a crazy environment, you just see violence every day. You see shootings every day. You see bullet shells and you just walk around stepping on them. It was just so, it was almost depressing as a little kid. I just never went home. I was just little, I was always in trouble. We had a parent meeting and things were not going good at home. I got in trouble, it was, um, it was just me and my mom, we was just into it, just not, just getting along. But my coach, Patrick Nix, he said, what if I take him home for a few days with us? Whenever he feel comfortable, he can come back. It was a Monday morning. I was in school just doing my normal thing and our principal called me down to the office. Um, and when I got down there, I just asked, look, can he just, why don't he just come stay with me for, for the night, for a couple of days, let's let things, you know, s settle down and then, and then we'll go from there. Well, Any the, high school coach yeah. will tell you, we, we haven't done anything that thousands of high school coaches do every day. Yeah. And that's just, you are a father to a lot of kids and a, a lot of those kids don't have perfect situations. And we pull up to the house and we walk in and they were sitting at the dinner table. And I knew right then and there I did not want to leave. I want you to read something that you wrote, if you don't mind. <laughs> wow, um, on April 23rd, 2018, I walked into a home, scared and unsure what to expect, but I knew everything was going to be okay. When I walked into the house, everyone was staring at me and it made me a little nervous. And all of a sudden, Krista walks up to me and says, hey, you're welcome to have anything, just make yourself at home. But before you go to sleep, make sure you tell me good night. This is a crazy moment. She said, before you go to sleep, make sure you tell me good night. And right then I knew I was, I was in my second home. A couple of days passed by, I started working my way towards the pantry. 
I did not sleep for two days. Okay, run along to me going into the pantry eating all the Welch's gummy snacks. <laughs> but yet, I did it and I'm not ashamed to say it. Now today is her birthday and I no longer call her Miss Nix. I call her mom, mama, ma. Never call her Crystal because she might wring my neck. But happy birthday, I love you, mama. But happy birthday, I love you, mama. I had the best day ever. I wish I was there. He's my kid. The, the family and mom really saved my life. Um, who knows where I would have been. Like being around the family, I had some structure in my life. I never had the structure that I had until I moved in. And I knew I can trust them because the love was, the love was there. He started living with us, you know, it, it was kind of like, you know, this is it. And he became a brother and then um, soon after that, he's just like family. You know what he wore my first night that he stayed at your house? Yeah, he had an Oregon hoodie on. How, like, how about that? Did you get that, Jack? Perfect. Me working hard and being being adopted and just never giving up on the, that one dream I had as a kid and actually having it come to a reality, it's, it's so real. It, it's something that I enjoy. It's something that I will always remember. It's something I will tell grandkids for a long time. and both Knicks taking the deep shot for Johnson. How about that? Brothers, touchdown. God writes an amazing story. I mean, obviously he's not finished with it yet, and we're close, but there's no way a human could ever orchestrate this. He came to Mama. Straight out of the game. Where the game? Yeah. I was blown away the whole time. It's the biggest crowd you've ever played in front of like that. I was just blown. I run out and I look up right now. I just couldn't believe I was here. We don't know what this season will be. We don't statistically or whatever, but it's, it's still going to be great. And it's fun to see what the rest of the story is. It'll be fun to see it.